Well, good evening, everyone. I'm Jeff Russo from 7 Eyewitness News. We're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. Developing out of Niagara Falls, police are now investigating the homicide of a baby girl. According to the baby's mother, the three-month-old was in the care of a babysitter when she suffered blunt force trauma. The infant died from her injuries on February 23rd. Niagara County District Attorney confirms that no arrests have been made at this point. One local lawmaker wants to make sure that anyone facing murder charges cannot be released on bail. Assemblyman Pat Burke says he's considering legislation. This comes after a judge granted bail for 24-year-old Shane Casado. He is accused of shooting and killing 22-year-old Rachel Wisbicki outside of a South Buffalo home late last month. If you get internet through Charter Spectrum, you're going to want to check your bill. You could be getting a one-time credit between 75 and 150 bucks, all part of the company's $174 million settlement with New York State. The state Attorney General accused the company of defrauding customers. The company will also change the way it markets its services. Buffalo's public transit system could be going green. Today, Assemblyman Sean Ryan announced more than $100 million is proposed. State budget is earmarked for improvements to the NFTA bus and metro rail systems. Two-thirds of that money would help convert the diesel bus fleet into the state's largest fleet of zero-emission electric buses. So we all know that diesel engines are really the, the worst kind of engines to ha have. But also, diesels release particulate matter uh, into the air. Our buses go through dense urban neighborhoods, and that particulate matter is bad for you. State lawmakers still negotiating the terms of the budget usually due by April 1st. Time now to check in on the forecast. Here's 7 First Alert meteorologist Andy Parker. It's looking good. We're going to sunny up again on Saturday after a little chilly in the morning. We're going to shake out 20 and head past 32 in the afternoon. First time we've done that in a while. 40 will be the resting place, and it looks like we'll bring in the rain showers and the wind as we head through Saturday night and Sunday. Now you're up to date in the 716.